If you like chicken, make that crispy chicken with barbecue sauce. Wait, make that spicy honey barbecue sauce. You're gonna really like today. Pretty easy. We're making our own uh, spicy barbecue sauce with the jalapeno ketchup and hot honey. Damn. And then we bread some wings. Well, the idea was to just bread some wings, put the sauce on and be good. Then Max said, wait, what if we also did tenders? I go, great idea. We'll do both. And then Max said, what if we also did popcorn chicken? I go, great idea. We'll do all three. I was waiting for him to come up with something else. Three is enough, I think. We make the sauce, get all the wings happening. We get to frying, we get to eating. We go home. Well, we go home. You guys are, you know, presumably at home or at work off and more power to you. Look, I'm not condoning the screwing off at work. Maybe you got a minute. Free time. Watch a little Sam the Cooking Guy. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah. This too. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And by the way, if you don't know, the pan is here. It's out. You can get your hands on one. The Sam the Cooking Guy 12-inch cast iron pan with this nonsense on the bottom. I mean, what's not to like? Look, we're big fans of cast iron pans. Not because my face is on it, though it doesn't hurt. But because of the way it cooks, there are so many things you can do with it. Not the least of which is that this is a future heirloom in your family. The OG. The OG. This ain't going away. You will go away before this goes away. The cockroaches will go. Well, that's gross. Your house will. No, maybe it won't go away. Anyway, these last forever with a modicum of care, which of course we'll show you how to do. And free shipping in the US. Enough commercial, Max, please. We must get to the chicken. All right, everything goes into our little pot. We start with about a cup of ketchup. Oh, even brand new, it makes that awful noise. Tell me when you think we've hit a cup, because we haven't. Is that still not a cup? That's a cup. We're close enough, right? Not that we measure. Not that we measure, because we don't. Okay, brown sugar, by the way, don't worry, recipe is below. Boom. Boom. There's always tang and barbecue sauce, and ours will be courtesy of apple cider vinegar. Thank you, apple cider vinegar. Everybody say thank you, apple cider vinegar. Thank you, apple cider vinegar. Excellent. A couple tablespoons of hot honey, available almost everywhere. One, two. Okay, maybe that was closer to three, but still it's gonna be really delicious. Of course, we need some salt and pepper, a nice decent pinch here, like that. And then a little smoked paprika is always great, except we wanted a teaspoon and now we're basically there. That is, there's no way that's a teaspoon. Well, there's no way to find out. You can't get in there now, so just leave it alone. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. And last but not least, a surprise ingredient in about a teaspoon of liquid smoke. About that. And this, we're just gonna mix. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Really think about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we got it. This now goes on the heat. We bring it to a boil. All right, it comes to a pretty little boil. We're gonna turn it down to a simmer and look what the heat does. The heat gets it sticky, gets it, well, it's already sweet, but let it go for about 15, uh, 20 minutes. Before we get to our chicken, I just wanna read something. I got a little present the other day. The note card said, hi, Sam, et al. It means everybody here. If you don't know, it's a, you might, know. I'm not explaining. I'm a fan of your show and have made a lot of your stuff. Really enjoy it. Just saw the Pavilion's meat counter rant. Was it a rant? It was a crusade. A crusade. Just saw the Pavilion's Meat Counter rant and thought you could just bring this in one day from Jeff. Look what Jeff sent. I'm trying not to give it away yet. Oh, perfect. Well, Jeff, as you now know, the problem has been solved, but I will now use this when I need the boy's attention. Max, we're ready to shoot. Chance, come on back. Stop with your personal heat warning inside. Can we get going? Hurry up, lads. I want to get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, before the chicken, I did forget something. Classic. A little soy paste. About a tablespoon. If you don't have it, a tablespoon of soy sauce will work just fine. All right, back on the heat, and now our chicken. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you caught me in the middle of shaving with uh, my Harry's razors. Look, I've been a fan for a couple years now, 
fell in love with them. I used to use uh, OPR, other people's razors, found Harry's and those all went out the window. In fact, I've said it before, I wouldn't give you a dollar for those anymore. These, this is what it's all about. Harry's is a personal care brand that delivers a close, comfortable shave and refills are as little as two dollars each. Come on now, that's kind of crazy. Forget those lousy things that you buy in the supermarket. Just put that out of your mind. Not only are these amazing, not only do they give you a fantastic shave, not only are they as little as $2 each, but they come to your house. To your house, you don't have to go anywhere. And for $3, you can get the trial pack. Oh, what's that you ask? Let's have a look. Here's what you get in the trial set. You get everything you need for a smooth shave. Here's my favorite part. Razor with the weighted handle. It's lovely. You get the guard, so if you go away, you take your razor like this, you put the safety cover on it, goes in your little kit and you're set. Some hello stuff, how to shave, how to take your blade out. The shave gel, which is the best ever. Oh, of course, it's on my face. Every day, this is my routine. Let me break it down for you and make it simple. Harry's owns their own factory where the blades come from in Germany. Hence, they can sell them to you at a crazy low price, as low as two bucks. 100% money back guarantee. You don't like it, and I think you'll love it. You can get your money back, no questions asked. They're that cool. You can buy Harry's without a subscription. How delightful is that? Okay, so to get the $3 trial set, go to harrys.com sam. Couldn't get any easier. Harrys.com slash Sam or hit the link below. It'll take you right there. This will show up with everything else. You'll be shaving like a like a like a like one of those barber guys with the towel on the face and the strop and the this thing. So do it. Harrys.com slash Sam. You'll love it. Get going. Clean yourself up for God's sakes. I see a couple of you out there. Scruffy, scruffy, scruffy. Thank you, Harry's, for sponsoring this video. And here we are. Do you see what I've got? Do you see what I got? I see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here's what we're doing. These are the uh, wings, right? Little drummy guys. These drummies and the flats, tenders, like that. You buy them already like that. And then uh, my favorites. What's this, Max? Thigh. Thank you. What's this for? Popcorn. That's it, of buddy. Of course, because you couldn't just do breasts for the popcorn. I could not. These just need to be in small, bite-sized pieces. And don't forget, they're gonna end up getting, you know, coated. Uh, we're gonna do crunchy versions. Panko will be involved, so they're gonna get bigger. But try and just keep them little bite sizey kind of guys, right? And uneven shapes are fine because popcorn is pretty much uneven, isn't it? Or does it have a, they're like snowflakes. Every one is different. And a little extra fat on these, I do not care about. If this bothers you, I'll take that off, that's fine. But when it comes to this, I'm all right. That weird gross red part you're all right with? It did look like salmon roe for a second Thank there. Thank you, thighs. So you're not going to eat a bite of this, of the of the popcorn? Is that no, what you're saying? I, I am. It's just... It's all just chicken, man. Parts is parts, as they say. Get your head around it. All right. All right. Let's just make straight gizzard popcorn. We'll do that one day if you'd like us to. Would you like us to? Rocky Mountain Oysters? Pretty certain I've had those. Okay, I'll put this over here and we will commence with the breading. All right, here's how this is going down. This is panko. If you've never been here before, it's Japanese breadcrumbs and we're in love with it. Makes everything better. This is cornstarch and flour that I will now season with some salt and pepper. It doesn't need too much more than that because honestly, the barbecue sauce is gonna take care of most of that flavor issue. So we'll mix this. You have to be careful because cornstarch is so light that if you just look at it the wrong way, it'll literally just fly out of the pan. It's really annoying. It's useful, and we like the combination because it gives it a nice crunch. Okay, this. Beaten egg, of course. We go flour, egg, panko, and we're do that with everything. But before I start, Max, show what's protecting our chicken. Viewer Ryan sent us what we believe is his creation. It's called the No Fly Zone. His brilliant creation. And by the way, when we got them, we all laughed like hell because we thought it was ridiculous. But we realize this is keeping the flies away from that area. It was either that or we hired like a four year old to sit on the counter and do this. <laughs> it's basically doing the same thing. It's crazy. 
And now we're fans. Thank you, Ryan. It's chicken time. We'll start with some wings. We'll put the kids in. We'll give them a turn and the cornstarch flour. Make sure they're coated nicely. You want it all the way around and then they go in our little egg bath. In you go, everybody. They get coated. They say this every time we do this. The flour helps the egg stick and the egg helps the panko stick. And if you didn't want to use panko or you can't find it, you could use almost anything. Cornflake crumbs, regular bread crumbs, Italian bread crumbs. But I will tell you the advantage that the panko brings is the crisp factor. And that's what this is all about. I've probably overloaded now. And now look, now I'm, now I'm in trouble. All right, so I'll turn everybody and then I'll come back and make sure they're really well covered. All right, when they're nicely coated, off they'll come. We'll just lay them right here. Next up, we'll do some of the drummies because they're fun to do. They do take a little bit longer than the wings and that's all right. I'm trying to keep one gross hand and one neat hand. If you can pull it off, it's great. I will end up ruining this clean hand at some point, so. Knock off this. All right, same move, everybody gets coated. I do wish I had a big bowl to do this in. I'll work on that for next time. Still one bad hand, one good hand. Let's do the tenders now, right in. I think maybe we can speed this up, Maxi. I think I can do that. You can get some technology you can figure out. Last but not least, this is really horrifying, especially with my hand as bad as it is right now. All right, now I gotta get this hand dirty, I think. Your special hand? Your special clean hand? <laughs> not the clean hand. The clean hand has to go in. Well, look at this. I've got... Let's not look at that. I've got dredging fingers. Sounds like some like disease that a scuba diver would have. It's got the dredging fingers. Poor guy. I don't want too much of this cornstarch flour, so try and shake off as much as you can. I think we're there. We're there. No, nope, almost. Now it's a fry party. Now it's a fry party. Okay. Feel free to get up to the point where they're all coated and then refrigerate them if you're not trying to do this all at the same time. Oh, this is bad. What the f happened here? Okay, of course, you're just going to get your little individual popcorn pieces in and just follow along like before. All right, last couple. Okay, phew. Uh, let me clean up my hands and then we're gonna get to some frying. All right, let's start with our flats. These guys, right? So they all cook at different times. The little wing flats are probably somewhere around four and a half-ish minutes. The drummies are probably closer to five. The tenders, mm, I'm thinking not much more than four. And the little popcorn pieces, two and a half-ish, three maybe. Look, digital instant read thermometer, at least 160 degrees on everything and you're fine. But now we're just doing this. Always a little shake. Uh, beautiful already. Beautiful already. Fucking gorgeous. I love them. I love them. Oh my God. All right, I'm going to take them out. They got to be ready. Look at the gorgeousness. Hi, kids. That was almost right at five minutes. So let me take these out left-handed to make Max happy. Wow, look at them. I just want to eat them right now. Don't you? Yes. Every single stinking one of them. Dang. All right, hear the crispiness. All right, next up, our wings. Load them up, boys, load them up. And as they stay at the racetrack, and away they go. And these guys are ready. Look at the sizzling oil on top of each of those. All right, now they come. Glorious, freaking glorious. All right, and next, tenders. And in they go. Wow, some of them are so big. Don't say it, don't say it. Those are beautiful. So Can you go give me the gap chance? Yeah, for the gap? Oh God, here, give it to me. No, oh, I think you I got him. Well, then you don't just shoot into the air, because no, that's... No, that is doing nothing, and you know it. No, I'm scaring off the gnats. No, you're not. And these guys are there. Let's take them out. Hello, gorgeous. Hey, you're supposed to be working. There's about a zillion gnats around. I'm not there. shooting flies, man. Okay, last but not least, in goes our popcorn.
Here, give me that. I need some of this time. I've not had this forever. And these kids. Done and done. Quick drip. Let's bring them off. Boys, we got a lot of chicken. A lot. All right, here's our sauce. It's simmered, it's rested, and it's beautifully thick. And I'm gonna tell you, if you were making a burger and you want to paint it on or a steak, it's perfect, but for our purposes now, it's too thick. So watch this move. A squeeze bottle, a funnel. Oh God, I gotta do this backwards for Max. This goes in here. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Thank you very much. If I had a spoon, it would be better. Of course I don't. Oh boys, it smells good. Ah. Oh, God. Ah, that was bad. Oh, I do have a spoon here. Pardon my back. Pardon the bull's back. You know, Max does not like to get up and move around to help with any of these shots, so I got to figure out how to do it on my own. This is perfect. Stand by while I add just a little bit of water to this. Put the lid on. I know you're going to think it's crazy. I'm telling you it's not crazy. And now this. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, here we go. Now we take our bowl and we'll start with our little flats that go like this. We'll put our little drummy guys in. You hear this? That is a gorgeous piece of chicken. Crispy, amazing. Sauce time. A little toss. And we're not trying to inundate we're just adding. And one more thing, this is actually a seasoning rub that we sell at uh, one of our restaurants. So we're just gonna give a little hit of this, finish the mix, and now we'll put these guys on this slate to look beautiful. Let's just start over here with these wings. Gorgeous. I'll show you why I'm separating in a second. Oh my God, I just want to eat every damn one of these. Beautiful. Okay, let me move this carefully. Now we come back with our big ass tenders. A little bit of our seasoning. We toss. Oh, get a little bit more on this backside. We plate these guys right in here. And I'll just do this off to the side because this will be easy. Our little kids, crunching, crunching, crunching. We sauce, we sauce. See, this is the right consistency for this. A little of the rub. You know, these guys are gonna go right here. Oh, did you hear that? Oh my God, I just ate one. Holy shit. And a final hit of this little rub. Presentation, a little more heat. Gorgeous flavor. I'll put a recipe for the rub in the description. And ladies and gentlemen, I did not need to make four different versions of this, but you know, when your oldest, your firstborn asks, you know, you wanna make them happy. I could have said bite me, but I chose not to. So look, choose whatever one you wanna make. They all have their own benefits. Popcorn, super easy to eat, throw it back. I love the ones with the bones though, the wings and the drummies, my fave. And if I was a four-year-old, I'd uh, be partial to a tender, even though it's breast. Makes me so happy. You hear that crunching? Mm. Mm. Oh my God. And it's a breast. Imagine how good these would be because they're, they're, they're proper chicken, their thighs. Mm, it's so good. Get on it. Don't be afraid of uh, deep frying. And if you don't have a deep fryer, uh, use a pan, cast iron pan. Sam the Cookie Guy one would be perfect, but anything that you can heat oil to at 350 degrees. And an instant read thermometer will tell you when these things are done for your first time. Then your second time out, then you'll know. These things take uh, three and a quarter minutes and you'll be great. This is so good. The sauce is so good. Recipes below, please, everybody make these. And uh, subscribe. We're under 50,000 left to hit 3 million and then we give away some fun stuff. And I'm not saying whether this is... N Never mind. I was going to give something away, but I chose not to at the last second. That's called a self-edit in your head.